Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. Today we're playing a game called Sucker for Love. It is a dating simulator about demons and all a bunch of scary stuff. I'm on chapter two, so let's continue. Wherever the lurid golden light of the planet, Corosa shines. The long, wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask, last echoes of de decedence and disorder. Masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal parts. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the cool god king's court, the favored victims of the king's sadistic amusement. Our followers belong to other deities. Huh? Wait, where? Huh? Did I zone out? What? I was... What was I doing? Damn. I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? Am I standing outside? I am standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm. Six hours early for my shift? Huh? This sounds. Those sounds like church noon, noontime bells. It's high noon? The way they must be doing some special service. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour, right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on way to work. If it's not too late, and I really hoof it. Out hoof it? I'll really hoof it? Okay. I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have any of the time on you? Dot dot dot. Hello? Hey, uh, hey? Dot dot dot. Is this the guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him. This guy's giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture. He's slowly swaying in an uncanny way. This is definitely giving me Halloween vibes, which is good. The color of his shirt looks filthy, stained with spotches of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor and I thought I met all my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. It's the book! The book is back. A book? What's... Latita! I, rem I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Lenita. I think it's Lenita. But I died. The world ended. The shock freezes me in place. And because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the... Ah! I duck inside my room, slamming the door in suspicious men's face. Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. Oh god. What happened? Uh oh. My game freeze. Oh no. I. What happened? Hello? I can't. There's the book. Oh god. Uh. I think something's wrong with my game. No. Lynetta, huh? Oh god. Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Am I supposed to see you? Is this- is this correct? Oh god. She's creeping me out. How did you get in my house? I just so happened to read. overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? 
You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Girl, no. Why can't I see the bottom of my screen? Hold up. I can't see it. One second, guys. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> 